Well, my perspective on responsible research and innovation, um, I think it can be a very, very valuable uh, concept, but I do think it's still a little bit vague for many people. Um, I think it's going to be valuable for society um, when uh, people become more conscious of what, um, what they are doing. It's mostly a, for me, it's mostly a culture change, what I learned in the, in the last two, two days. Um, it's about, about understanding what, do, what I'm doing is research, because we think research and innovation is already often responsible, but people become more conscious. Uh, the key challenges uh, is uh, how to implement it, because it's relevant for everything we do. So, um, and in every case it will be different how you want to apply it. So that's going to be the, the biggest challenge really, yeah. Well, I hope it won't have any negative consequences. Um, but the only negative thing I could think is that people think that the counterpart of responsible research and innovation is irresponsible research and innovation. Although, um, there, that doesn't really exist. I really believe that what we are doing right now is already often responsible. And that research that we do and innovation that we do, we think about it. Uh, we also have the idea it should have social benefits, it should have benefits for the environment and for the way we live. Um, so people shouldn't think that what we've done till now is irresponsible. Well, I think in my sector, which would be the oil and gas sector, um, I think people should be more aware of stakeholder management. Um, everything and communication, everything we discussed till now uh, usually uh, comes up to that, that we need to communicate better, we need to have um, a better communication from science to, to general uh, public and um, I think that's a, that's a large challenge and it can mean a lot for the sector to be more open and transparent and better communicative to, to, uh, to people outside of the sector.